Can you see all the screens? Okay. Yes, we can see the screen. Okay, great, great, great. <clears throat> Okay. Yes, so uh, good afternoon, everyone. So uh, really glad to, um, to meet you in, in this workshop. And then uh, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy to, to deliver you uh, this workshop and to be here. And uh, thank you very much for the NBRIs to invite me to, as a, a speaker for this uh, session. With the session of the introduction to solar PV system design for utility scale. <clears throat> and then I, I, I would like to highlight uh, this one is from the inverters manufacturing point of view. And then the, why is it important uh, if you see from inverters perspective? Because if you see a solar panels, uh, uh, the, the solar plants, the solar PV plants, you see all, of course, all you see the, the solar panels. But uh, of course, solar panels is not that smart. Solar panels, panels determines the the uh, the energy uh, converted from uh, sun to electricity, but it doesn't determine the control. It doesn't determine the the how how the plants should be monitored. It doesn't de determine that the the plants are smart enough. The the one who can control this power and the one who can integrate this power to uh the, to the buildings or to uh to the utility grid uh in in indonesia pln is actually inverter so that, that's why it's important uh, if you see the, the the design from the inverter's point of view and uh yeah uh hope, hope you guys enjoy hope you guys uh, learn so much in this uh in this uh session So uh, as it's already introduced by, uh, <clears throat> by uh, the, the colleague Adit, uh, Mr. Adit, so uh, I'm, I'm Yunizar Pragistio. I'm actually a, a graduate from uh, Indonesian University and in the, in the, my bachelor 2011, and then I continue my master's in the TU Delft, Netherlands. And then uh, after that, uh, I actually had some uh, 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 job, uh, yeah, work experience in the Netherlands, uh, mainly in the electrical engineering, and uh, in and then the, right now I, I'm the product manager uh, in the so Sandro. So Sandro, uh, I think in Indonesia it's widely available there as well. It's a well-known uh, solar inverters manufacturer in the world. So we actually uh, manufactures uh, inverters and also storage systems as well. And then the, we actually delivers uh, inverters with the biggest uh, capacity. So we actually have the string and central uh, solutions. Later on, we will uh, we'll, uh, learn the, what, what are the strings and the centrals. And then, uh, yeah, it's it's one of the uh, big uh, biggest manufacturers in in the world. And then the yeah, and the ag agenda for today is uh, we fir first we would like to uh, learn together about the utility system solutions, about uh, the system architecture, what is what determines the CNI like commercial and industry. Or what determines it is is the the plants are utility scale and in utility scale we have also different uh, kind of ar architecture. We have a uh, utility scale with string inverters and central inverters. And the second one I would like to highlight the features that are essentials in the in the inverters, and uh, it it can provides you more energy production of the solar panels and also provides you support of the grid and also protections of your plants as well. And then the third one, I would like to highlight uh, the installations of the solar plants during design and also the pre-installation uh, as well. And then the, the fourth one, uh, I would like also to, <clears throat> to give you a better understanding about how can the monitoring system or the monitoring ar architecture is uh, implemented in the utility scale? And we will learn 
what are those uh, co uh, components and what are actually uh, the function of those components to monitor the system and also to control too. Uh, yeah, and then the, in in this in this workshop, I would like the participant to be active in both, actively in both. So later on in uh, in the middle, I will actually give you some uh, quiz via Menti. So prepare yourself uh, with the, with some quiz, and also this is uh, this can be done via uh, your phone or also or also website. So uh, yeah. We, we begin to the introduction. So uh, nowadays for the utility scale solar plants, there are two key points for the system innovations. If you see in here, in, in this slide, there's a DC site, which is connected to the uh, solar, solar, solar panels. Uh, as you can, as you know that the 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 one who's the the one that that is connected to the solar panels is actually DC electricity, so direct current, and then the another side is the AC that 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 is connected to the grid, after the inverter. So that's why it's crucial for the inverters because it's the essential part to transform your uh, solar panels power to the power that can be uh, accepted by the grid or by your building network. So from the DC side, we see uh, uh, the, the trend that is a lower LCOE because uh, yeah, LCOE means levelized cost of electricity. So means the energy price. How to de determine the energy price? One of things is the, the energy itself that, that, that can be harvested from the solar panels. You see from, uh, from the trends, we see, uh, uh, yeah, from Germany, it's it, it's around five uh, five cent uh, per kilowatt hour until from our from UAE and uh, Saudi Arabia, it, it can be achieved at two uh, two your uh, two dollars per kilowatt hour. So how can it be? One of the important thing is that from the DC side, from the solar panels point of view. So you have a high DC AC ratio. So means like uh, <clears throat> if you put if you design the systems uh, any uh, solar plant system you put uh, the the solar panel power is higher than the inverter power so let's say the inverter power is five kilowatt your solar panels should be higher than five kilowatt so that's that that means that, that let's say the the solar panels is actually uh, six. And then the, the inverter is five. So the, the DC AC ratio is six uh, divided by five. It's about, uh, yeah, <clears throat> it's about 1.2. And then the, when, when you put more solar panels, so the DC AC is higher. So actually you can harvest more electric, more, more, uh, more sun energy. So uh, the innovation, key innovation in inverter, we actually can accept more power from the solar panels so that uh, they can ensure more production. And the second one is the efficiency. Of course, we were talking about the efficiency of the uh, solar panels. We can, I can imagine in, my, uh, in, in the market uh, 10 years, five years ago, the efficiency is around uh, 17, 16, 15. And right now, the efficiency of solar panels is uh, it can be achieved to 20, 22 percent. Uh, I've I've been the uh, in the exhibition. They actually uh, have uh, more advanced technology can achieve 20 percent uh, uh, efficiency. So it's one of the factors. And uh, the third one is the uh, all-in-one. So uh, nowadays, so uh, from the inverter's point of view. We actually uh, give an all all in one all in one solution. So uh, uh, you can imagine later on. I will I will uh, uh, let you know about the inverters and also the AV station or tra transformers. So in the nowadays we actually give it in one big package. 
so that uh, uh, the op operation and maintenance cost is very low. That's from DC. From AC point of view, uh, actually, uh, yeah, we see the, the trend right now from 2015 until maybe 2020, there's a high penetration of renewable into the grid. Or maybe we can see that uh, we can project uh, at 2050, it's around uh, 50%. Or in Germany, or and in in Germany right now, it's around 30% of the renewable energy. And in in Bel in in Netherlands, it's uh, around 20%. So you see more if if you put more renewable, so you move you put more fluctuations in the grid. So that's why uh, the inverters company or the uh, power electronics company control system company needs to catch up with this because we have to uh, secure the grid. We have to protect the grid whenever there's a fluctuation in the, in the grid because of the wind and solar, we have to uh, balance the grid. And one of the thing is uh, I, I jump to the uh, second point, the advanced control and function. So uh, inverters manufacturer, we actually uh, have been developed, uh, developing uh, advanced control to support the grid whenever the grid is 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 having uh, maybe 10 percent voltage difference we actually support the the those compensate those voltage and also for frequency we actually uh, also uh, compensate it and the third the the third point we see here is the uh, adding the storage of ess energy storage system so whenever there's a, a suddenly cloud passing to the uh, solar plants. Therefore, the, the electricity is not stable. That's why the energy storage play an important role in this, uh, in this part that support the, the missing uh, power because the grid cannot, cannot accept when, there's a, the, when the power is reduced very drastically at a, cert, at a very fast uh, time or increase that drastically uh, at the very fast time that's why we need storage and the first one is uh, for uh, nowadays the inverters manufacturer uh, put uh, more bigger and bigger inverter capacity because uh, you can imagine the 10 years ago the inverter capacity is only a 30 uh, kilowatt or 60 kilowatt right now uh, in in Sangro we have a uh, 300 kilowatt so we we increase five times higher. So that's why uh, we need only uh, less inverters in 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 the same for the same uh, megawatt. Uh, let's say for the same power for the uh, utility scale plants. Uh, yeah, and then we move to the system architecture. Maybe uh, some of you are still uh, new in the in the electrical point of view. So solar panels. We will uh, learn together. Uh, yeah, and also uh, people maybe uh, if you see uh, the solar panels in the building and solar panels in the in the ground. Uh, you in the building we rooftop solar panels we often call uh, either residential or the commercial and industry or CNI. That is super different than if you if you see the solar panels that is. Uh, uh, ground mounted on the land. We, we, we call it that's more into utility scale plant because it deliver more uh, power and also different architecture. Let, uh, we see in the uh, CNI system uh, architecture first. So uh, right now the, the inverter manufacturers or the solar plants development is, uh, is having a more than 1,000 uh, volt DC. Previously, in five years, 10 years back, we only accept 800 volt. But uh, right now, we have uh, 1,100 volt DC. And why DC, uh, uh, the higher voltage is important because you see the if, if you have lower voltage, then the current is higher. When the current is higher, then the efficiency is lower. And and also, uh, yeah, and also at lower energy production. That's why we actually increase the voltage 
to have a lower uh, current to save the to actually to to have more efficient system and then after uh after the inverter after that we connect to the inverter and then after that uh we connect to the uh to the uh building uh, grid all the building networks in europe it's 400 volt but uh in i think in indonesia it's around uh, three, 390 volt so this can be uh yeah, you have also a uh, different uh, 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 cabinet. One is the inverters, and one this is this one is the uh, the the cabinet, uh, the grid mattering cabinet, the AC cabinet. So uh, and then the, yeah, this one is for four hundred or three ninety. So the output of this one can be uh, the electricity is can be uh, can be used in in the building directly. So that's for the uh, uh, CNI system. However, uh, this one is the in the example of the inverter placement in the CNI system. It can be in the rooftop. However, for the uh, utility scale, we're talking about string system using string uh, uh, inverters. You actually uh, have multiple uh, inverters. And right now the voltage level is 1,500, so around 50% uh, uh, more. That's why, because we, we want to minimize the loss. Too. And then after that, the, the output is 800. This is AC, 800 volt. And then you cannot get, you, you cannot uh, just connect it to the uh, building network or the, or the grid, because for utility scale, the grid is actually in the in the distribution uh, uh, network, which is around twenty or thirty five uh, kilovolt, or maybe ten kilovolt. So actually, you need a transformer, step up transformer, to uh, to change the voltage from eight hundred to around uh, twenty to thirty five or or ten kilovolt. So that's why it's important to have uh, one more component, which is uh, the MV station here. And then you can get the you can get the auxiliary uh, uh, power supply by adding more transformers to uh, change from 800 volt to 400 volt. And this one is for the string systems. We we see like uh, there's a lot of uh, strings connected to uh, to one MV station or one transformers. This is the example of the string solution. Usually, uh, we put the uh, string inverters directly underneath the solar panels uh, mounting systems. And then you connect those different uh, inverters into one transformers located into one, in, in, into one location. So you see uh, that's one of the, uh, the planning to consider. But this is different with the central system central uh, using central so solution there's only one inverter together with the mv station here so uh, when you connect uh, one inverter this is uh, on only one inverter or uh, maximum in sandro we have two inverters connected to one transformers in the in the transformers it uh, it actually uh, Change uh, change the voltage into again a 10, 10 to thirty five or twenty to thirty five kilovolt that can be uh, accepted by the grid by the PLN. So, but the thing here to compensate this because uh, the 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 cable input of the uh, string inverters is only a uh, two or maybe four 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 cables but you need to connect a lot of uh, solar panels. That's why you need to, you need to uh, have the DC combiner box in order to uh, make it to combine different, uh, different uh, solar panels, solar panel strings into one input. <coughs> so you need DC combiner box. 
So that's why this what what makes the difference of the central and string is the DC combiner box. And of course, this is this adds cost as well. By by default, if you compare with the string inverters and this big chunk uh, central inverters, the cost per kilowatt is actually uh, lower using the central inverters. So uh, the central inverter is 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 cheaper than if you buy a lot of string inverters. But you need to consider this. You need to con consider the DC combiner box as well at, to the cost. That's why uh, sometimes when 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 we see uh, the cost of the central inverters and multiple string inverters in one to, to compare, always central inverters is uh, lower. But if you add the PP combiner box, it can be the same at the end. So uh, different architecture, different uh, efficiency as well. As uh, well, string inverters have more efficiency because uh, it has uh, more uh, MPP tracking in in the uh, in the uh, systems, but central infer central inverters only have uh, one MPP tracking. So that you can imagine when one uh, one the solar panels got shaded. The actually the rest of the solar panels connected to the inverters, it's actually uh, get lower as well with the production. But using uh, the string inverters, when when the one gets shaded, but other other uh, solar panels not have a shading, those solar panels can actually produce the energy. It doesn't affect it to other solar panels. Okay. Yeah, this is one of the example of the uh, uh, solar plants with this uh, central systems. You can imagine there's no uh, inverters, uh, small inverters anymore, but you put the big inverters, let's say also big inverters in here together with the transformer station. <clears throat> okay, uh, I, I would like to test your understanding. Uh, please go to the menti.com and then input the code uh, 9387, this code. So you can, you can go to the menti. And input that one and I, because I have questions. Gives a big difference between string and central. Yeah, below is the component that gives big difference between string and central inverters. What what makes it different? Is it a solar PV panel, b the data logger, the c DC combiner box, or d the transformers MV, or MV station? Maybe from the participant, anyone want to answer this question? I can see uh, three uh, people are answering, so you're missing uh, more. Do you have any uh, trouble in the answering uh, the questions or uh, accessing the the menti.com? <clears throat> On the uh, I'll help to type it in the in the chat box so they cannot just uh, copy paste the link. Yeah. Thank <clears throat> you. 
Okay, so please, all participants, you can go to the menti.com and input this uh, code uh, on the chat box. Yeah. Okay, more uh, people are answering right now. Okay, uh, I, I'll, I'll give you uh, one more minute. And uh, yeah, um, I will uh, give you the result right now. <clears throat> can you see the uh, the screen right now? Yes, we can see. Yeah. So uh, who's uh, answering the DC combiner box? Maybe. Uh, uh, the participant can uh, open the audio and then uh, okay, I, and uh, answer. Okay, I have choose the PV DC combiner box. Okay, and uh, and why do you choose this one? <clears throat> Since on your presentations there are uh, this, as I remember that the string inverter is having a small capacity and the central inverter uh, is like in the container in the container and uh, we uh, for the central inverter we should make uh, some solar panel strings right into yeah, one yeah. input into one input yeah. so yeah. we need to combine all of the strings into one input through the combiner box. Maybe that that thing that I can understand. Yeah, correct, correct. It's a great. Uh, it's a correct answer. So okay. the the answer is the PVDC combiner box, because uh, like uh, like uh, Mr. Chipta said that the central only accept two or four input of the solar panels, but you see in 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 one plan, a lot of solar panels strings. So that's why you need the you need to combine those uh, different uh, panels into into one with the combiner box. But uh, in in string, there's always solar panels. Of course, there's always uh, every station, and there's always the data logger to to monitor the system. Okay, we uh, we move to the competitive features <clears throat> of the uh, of the uh, solar inverters. So, uh, what an inverter manufacturer, or what if you are engineer, or if you are a developer, or if you are uh, still studying, what do you need to consider to optimize the system? Uh, you need to consider it's it's always at the end it's always a cost it's always economical reason that's why we actually always consider uh, LCOE the price of the electricity. If you break down those price, you see the uh, capital expenses, which is the cost of the total uh, plant at one time uh, in, in the beginning of the project. Let's say the solar panels cost, the inverters cost the transformer station costs, all cables and all the monitoring uh, structures cost. It's a CAPEX. Uh, you see also the OPEX, the operation uh, expenses. You see uh, this one is related to the, uh, the, the re regulation, uh, the, the maintenance, the uh, periodic uh, maintenance. So you have also the, for the, uh, the fee, if you would like to clean the solar panels, if if there's a <clears throat> if there's system that is uh, broken, so these those are the opex, and uh, the divided by the total lifetime energy production. So divided by the energy produced 
the energy that can be generated from the solar panels. So you, you see, if you would like to achieve lower cost of electricity, you have to have more, you have to have lower capital expenses. You have to also have a lower operation expenses, but you have to have higher energy production, you know, higher yield. So for CapEx, it's related with the, uh, the inverters. So if you put bigger inverters, you, you actually put less uh, inverters in, in one plant. If you're talking about inverters, you have to talk about the, uh, the mounting system of the inverters too, the cabling also. So actually at the end, if you have small inverters in one plan, you, you actually have a low, uh, higher uh, cabling cost and higher mounting system cost. So that's why we would like to avoid that one. For the OPEX, uh, we need to have a higher reliability of the system and uh, easy operation and maintenance. Sometimes, of course, right now, every uh, plant can be monitored uh, remotely and uh, the, the inverter should be uh, smart enough to uh, perform the protections when something happened. And uh, the third one is the high yielding. So the, the inverter should have the high uh, efficiency to convert DC to AC, also a low ca cable cost as well. Uh, compatible uh, with the high DC AC ratio. And uh, I would like to ask uh, at one more for, for protection. So this one is actually like, a, like the insurance. So uh, you need to have a, a better protection of your uh, systems. I will uh, I'll tell you uh, all of, about, about this. <clears throat> So uh, right now there's a development of the bifacial module and also there's a development in the uh, solar panels, uh, Hikron module. Right now in, in the market, it's around uh, 600 watt per module. However, it, it, it always gives the headache to uh, the, the designer because uh, not all the inverters can be capable to have high current as well as the uh, the bifacial module, because you see the sunlight uh, comes from the uh, top and from the rear side of the solar, uh, solar panels. That's why you have more uh, irradiance and more power. And this uh, sunlight can be converted to the current. So at the end, you will have more current in the, in the output of the solar panels. But not all the inverters can accept this current. So uh, that's why uh, in, in Sandro, we, ex we can we are compatible with those uh, module, the high current module and the bifacial. And uh, I will tell you uh, how, how as, as engineer, how can you see that one? So uh, in the data sheet of the inverters, you see the maximum PV input current and the DC short circuit current. So uh, this is per MPPT is 30 amps right now. And right now the solar panels is actually a 17 only. And the DC uh, short circuit is 50, but right, uh, the, the, the biggest solar panels is 18. So we are capable in, in, ha in, in, in having those uh, current, but not all, not, the current is not only the parameter. The next one is the voltage. So uh, you have the open circuit voltage and the operating, operating voltage. This is uh, around 45. And then the, the operating voltage is uh, 38. So it means like uh, with this high current module, uh, this is only one the solar panels. So uh, it means that you can, you can fit around 30 of these solar panels in, in one string. So, because uh, if you put in series, the voltage adds up and we, we can accept uh, 1,500 maximum for our inverter. So that's why it's, it's important to, uh, to select the technology or the inverter that you use when you design the system, whether it's compatible with the solar panels or not. The next one is an anti-PID or PID recovery. This is a, a new development in the solar industry because uh, solar panels, 
has the degradation the characteristic, degradation mechanism, mechanism which is the PID, potential induced degradation. So this is some. This is more or less the same like uh, other uh, electronics. If you if you if you uh, put uh, yeah, if you operate uh, those electronics in the very high uh, uh, very long time, it will degrade it. But uh, use, using the inverters, we actually can uh, can recover those degradation by adding uh, injecting the the voltage. It you can see that. Uh, uh, for one year, using uh, using sundry inverters and using PID recovery function, we can actually uh, recover those degradation degraded uh, solar panels for ten percent. So we we keep ten percent uh, uh, higher because if we don't uh, enable this one, uh, in the worst case scenario, what for one year you can actually you, you can lose uh, ten percent of the solar panels uh, energy because of the PID uh, uh, mechanisms or P deg deg degradation uh, mechanism. Another one is the PLC or uh, power line carrier. So in, in, in the new development of the uh, uh, solar inverters, we can combine the, the cables of the power and the cables of the uh, communication, just like a USB-C, you, you can combine the power and the uh, communication. So this is the same as uh, uh, our inverter. If you have a, a power cable, you can combine that, or uh, with the monitoring. So you don't have to invest on the cabling cost for for the monitoring. It saves the cost. You see in here, it lower the the cable expenses as well. <laughs> the next one is the remote monitoring. Uh, yeah. It's important right now to have a more sophisticated uh, remote monitoring or the ONM platform in order to uh, be able to monitor the system and to uh, to set to adjust the setting of the system remotely. So you don't have to go on site because uh, utility scale uh, solar plants usually lo located outside the city. So you have to the workers should have to go on site and spend at least one day, two days uh, in the in the in the site. So we don't want that one. That's why uh, in in the in in the all inverters manufacturer we have a uh, remote monitoring uh, so that the workers can change or uh, adjust the system remotely in the in, in the office. And also doing troubleshooting as well remotely. The the last one is about the protection. So uh, there's a, a new development in the solar, uh, solar inverters world, uh, which is FCI, so arc fault circuit interrupter. So you can imagine when, when one cable is broken down, it creates the arc like a, like a flash. And this one is actually can, is responsible for the, uh, it can be a uh, flammable, it can burn the system. That's why using this uh, arc fault interrupter, we integrate the the the, uh, the arc fault detection in our inverter. So whenever there's a, an arc, because uh, the cable is broken or the connectors are not tight enough, it provides the arc, and the system will detect and and shut down uh, shut down the 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 part of the system to protect it and send the the alarm to the workers so that they see, oh, there's a cable broken. So uh, we, in, in, in our uh, uh, function, we can be able to do that. And uh, yeah, again, uh, test the understanding. So test your understanding. You can go to the menti.com. And then the, this you can the, you can highlight what is the the most important features in, uh, in the solar inverters.
So you can go to the menti.com and uh, put the code and answer. I give you some time. So this is, a, this is, I think this is, this can be different. This can be very personal. What is the important features? Based on, based on your understanding. We have the high current module. Is this the, the most important one that we, uh, we have to, the importer can have to, can, can compatible with the high current module or the anti-PID, is it the, the, the priority or what this is the most important to recover the degradation cell of the solar panels? And the PLC, it's uh, also reducing the cable, cabling costs responsible for the capital expenses or the remote monitoring, uh, you need to uh, uh, see it. Uh, you, you can see the, uh, the, the mon you can monitor the system from, uh, from your office, from other, other country, even other, uh, from other city. So you can uh, perform that one. Or the, the, the last one, the FCI. So it protects the system to have a arc fault uh, failure in, in the cable. I give you a uh, thirty second. So okay, please, our uh, participant can go to menti.com and use the code six two 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 nine. We have more people answering. Okay, I think uh, I will stop the uh, this, the the question and then uh, provide you the answer. Uh, this is uh, what. Uh, uh, what the particip participant answers. So there's nothing, there's no wrong and right answer. It depends on the, the I, I would like to see uh, from the uh, participants point of view, what do, what do they think it's, it's more important that the, uh, to, to have the features. And we see that uh, uh, more uh, at, at the end, the, 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 more, the most important one is the FCI. It's, uh, yeah, it's actually it can be true because uh, it's kind of like insurance. If you if you have the the failure in the arc fault, you can not just burn the system, but burn the entire solar plants uh, systems. And uh, yeah, it, it 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 will have a loss of, of uh, also the production, the all the asset. And you can imagine if if you install the system in the building on the building on the top then you can burn the entire building. So actually you can burn the, the capital expenses, the asset of, of the building as well outside the plants. So that's why it's important. And the second one is the anti-PID and PID recovery function. So uh, it will become a trend in the, in the, in the future because uh, if you have more, uh, like more voltage on the solar, plant, solar, solar plants, uh, you actually have more severe degradation so that's why you, you need to have the recovery function. And the third one, of course, this is very essential. If you have no more remote monitoring, how can you know that the production, the, uh, the, the plants produce the energy? Even though you, you put some plants, if they don't produce energy, then you actually, for only one day, two days, then you lose the, the, the money. <clears throat> 
And uh, the fourth one is the compatibility with high current module. Uh, it's not that uh, uh, that that not uh, important. Uh, it can be because uh, the the solar panels you can you can put more solar panels and you have to be uh, smart enough in designing. You can uh, try something else too. And the fifth is the PLC communication. Yes, uh, I think this is in Netherlands. So we also don't uh, use this one. We only we use a. Uh, 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 the, the usual, the common communication uh, cable, which we think it's it's more uh, robust, it's more stronger than this, this, this is new communication. So, <clears throat> okay. And uh, can, can go to the next one. I would be very uh, fast in this uh, installation because uh, <clears throat> it's more into electrical uh, uh, point of view. So uh, when you connect the, uh, uh, the, the cables to your inverter, to the inverter, you, there are in total, there are four. There are four uh, cables. One is the DC connected to the solar panels. And the second one is AC connected to the uh, grid. The fourth one is, uh, yeah, the third one uh, is the communication line connected to, uh, to uh, the, the data logger. And the, the last one is the earth. You have to connect to the earth in order to prevent the, the, the people for, for getting an electric shock. This is for protection. So you see that the only... Uh... Sorry, Mr. Reneser, the time is five minutes left. Yeah, sure. Only the, the, the cable is actually... <clears throat> Uh, the, the AC cable is, should be protected by the, uh, the circuit breaker. You don't have to protect the DC because the, the inverters can, uh, can, can protect it. And I think this one is the, the most important. I will skip the rest because uh, at the end you will get the, the, the slides. And then I would go to the monitoring section. This is very important. For a uh, utility scale, this is the monitoring uh, scheme looks like. You have an uh, inverter and uh, the MV station here. The MV station is, can be monitored and uh, by the smart communication box, or we call it data logger. And also the meteor station like PR meters or the temperature sensor, you can, can connect to the data logger. And then from the data logger, you can connect to the PPC or the power plant controller. So this is to automate the system. So uh, whenever there's a grid failure, the voltage going down or high, it, it, it automate the control of the solar panels. And you can, and then after that you connect to the SCADA. So remember SCADA is uh, more into monitoring. So you, you monitor the system from the SCADA and uh, from, from SCADA you can, uh, you can have the monitoring for platform even the, from your phone. You can monitor uh, the solar panels. Uh, even the 10 megawatt, 20 megawatt solar panels can be monitored from your phone and can be adjusted from your phone. And uh, the local SCADA is for the grid operators. For uh, in, in Indonesia, we call it the, P the PLN. They can monitor the, the system, uh, see the production of the solar panels and uh, perform any protection uh, action whenever something is not uh, going well. But for PP PPC is a power plant controller. It's to control the system, to automate the, the, the solar plants. So that's why this is, uh, I, I think this is something new in, in, in Indonesia as well, because uh, in, in Europe, we have been using this for the past uh, five years. Uh, so it's to automate the system. And then the, yeah. Or maybe we can skip this one, and maybe we can uh, go to the Q and session. And there's a question from the audience. 